So far in 2021, seven new animals have been discovered. Humans may appear to have conquered the entire world, and in some respects, we have. However, Earth's natural environments still conceal an incredible amount of information. Every year, scientists discover hundreds of new plant and animal species, as well as thousands of new insects. Even yet, they're only scraping the surface of what's possible. According to scientists, a large portion of Earth's biodiversity is yet unknown. Depending on how you count the microscopic creatures, it's estimated that 86 to 99 percent of them have yet to be identified. The prospect of discovering a new species may conjure up images of pith-helmeted explorers trudging through the jungle in search of a mythical beast. And it's true that rainforests are biodiversity hotspots where new discoveries abound. However, when DNA testing uncovers new insights about organisms that look similar, numerous new species are discovered in familiar locales or even museum archives. However, they are genetically distinct. Scientists must thoroughly study possible members of a new species, both inside and out, to determine every physical and genetic feature that distinguishes them from other organisms. They must also check that no one else has already documented the species. If they succeed, the next step is to publish a scientific study officially describing and naming the new species. The entire procedure might take years. Unfortunately, many newly found organisms are already threatened with extinction. According to the World Wildlife Federation's 2020 Living Planet Index, global total populations of mammals, birds, amphibians, reptiles, and fish declined by 68% between 1970 and 2016. Hundreds of species have become extinct as a result of human activity. That's just the ones we're aware of. It's a race to find, document, and share information, hopefully, save species before they become extinct. The Deep Sea Dumbo The Emperor Dumbo Octopus Grimpoteruthes Imperator This mystery cephalopod lives more than 4,000 feet beneath the surface of the North Pacific Ocean, making it one of the world's deepest living octopi. It has two ear-like fins on its head, just like other Dumbo octopuses. Despite the fact that the octopus was dead when it was removed from the water, scientists investigating its anatomy used MRI and CT scans to examine its internal organs. Their innovative method provided a clearer anatomical picture than standard dissection, allowing the only specimen of this rare sea species to be stored whole. Brukhesia nana, the nano-chameleon. B. nana, the tiniest reptile known to science, is about the size of a fingernail. Researchers discovered two of these small lizards a male and a female in Madagascar's mountain rainforests. Despite belonging to the chameleon family, B. nana does not change color. While seeking for insects to feed, its brown skin helps it blend in with the forest floor. Bombus incognitus, the bumblebee hiding in plain sight. Researchers studying forest bumblebees in the Rocky Mountains were in for a surprise when they found that the bees fell into two distinct genetic clusters what they thought was one species was actually two, both species live harmoniously together in grassy mountain meadows in the United States and Canada. Myotis nimbensis, bright orange bat. This bat has vivid orange fur and is named for the Nimbo Mountains in West Africa, where it can be found in caves and mining tunnels. This bat, together with the Lamotte's round leaf bat, Hippositeros lamate, can only be found in this one mountain range, hence preserving it is critical for both species survival. Fortunately, much of it has already been designated as a natural preserve. So hence Krite, Bungaru Suhani is a deadly snake named after a goddess. Krites are highly deadly snakes, so the fact that this one is named after Bai Sohen, a snake goddess adored in Chinese mythology as a deity of healing and true love, is a little ironic. It lives in Yunnan province, 
China, among rice fields and streams. The ability to correctly identify a venomous snake is essential for treating its bite. So hence Krite is distinguished from its cousins by subtle changes in its teeth and black and white striped skin. Reclassification of whales Rice's whale, Balanoptera ricei has been around for decades. Rice's whale was previously known as the Gulf of Mexico Brides Whale and was named after naturalist Dale Rice, who first documented them in the 1960s. In 2014, genetic tests proved that the gulf whales were genetically unique from bride's whales found in other oceans. An autopsy of a whale that washed up on the beach in Florida in 2019 completed the categorization of rice's whale as a new species. Only about 100 rice's whales remain in the wild. Stromigenes airs they, the ant named by a rock star. This small ant with an outstanding jawline lives in the Chocodarien region of northwest Ecuador, one of the many unique ecosystems in the Tums, Choco, Magdalena biodiversity hotspot that stretches from Ecuador to Peru's northern tip. With the help of Michael Stipe of the band REM, Yale entomologist Douglas Boer confirmed that the ant was truly a new species. Stipe and Boer named the ant after their mutual friend, artist Jeremy Ayers. The gender-neutral suffix they honors Ayers' role as an advocate for gender diversity and non-binary representation. And non -bi